This is SAT test for non-calculator question number 15. College Board gives us a quadratic equation with k and p instead of regular numbers as coefficients and ask for the solutions to this quadratic equation. Given the format here, we can see we're going to use quadratic formula, so let's set it up appropriately for the quadratic formula. x squared minus k over 2x if I subtract 2p from both sides, I get minus 2p equals 0. And I'm not fond of fractions, especially inside the quadratic formula, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. That gives me 2x squared minus 2k, I'm sorry, minus 2 over 2 is 1kx minus 4p equals twice 0 is still 0. This will be easier to work with because I don't have fractions inside my square root. Quadratic formula says x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, where a equals 2, b equals negative k, and c equals negative 4p. I like to write out the quadratic formula so I'm not inadvertently putting numbers in the wrong spot. I like to write out my a, b, and c for the same reason, but also so I don't drop these negatives. We're all good at dropping negatives, and any step you can take to reduce that risk is a good thing. So my x values are negative b, which is minus negative k is positive k, plus or minus square root. Negative k squared is negative k times negative k is positive k squared, minus 4ac. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16 times 2 is positive 32 times the p over 2a, where a is 2, is over 4. Separating it like these answers are separated, I have x equals k over 4 and then plus or minus root k squared plus 32p over 4. That is choice B. If I had not multiplied both sides by 2, the algebra would have been much harder. And let's take a look at that because we don't always think to do that. That gives me x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a where a equals 1, b equals negative k over 2, and c equals negative 2p. Again, I write out a, b, and c so I don't swap and put the wrong value into one of these positions, and that's the same reason I write out the quadratic formula, plus I'm trying to make sure I don't drop a negative. So x equals negative b is minus negative k over 2 is plus k over 2, and then plus or minus the square root negative k over 2 squared is positive k squared over 4 minus 4ac is minus negative is plus 4 times 2p is 8p times 1 is still 8p and that is all over 2a which is twice 1 is 2. Let's separate the two terms x equals k over 2 divided by 2 is k over 4 that rules out choices c and d and then plus or minus this square root k squared over 4 plus 8p all over 2. If I multiply that by root 4 over itself to get rid of the fraction inside the square root I have k over 4 plus or minus root k squared over 4 plus 8p times root 4 is the square root of, I can bring the 4 inside and distribute it, k squared plus 32p. Twice root 4 is 2 times 2 is 4. Same answer I got before. A little bit uglier on the algebra, and you can always go further, and there's different ways of separating that square root. College Board will typically ask you more than one question where you have to solve a quadratic equation, often including the quadratic formula, so make sure you're proficient with this before your SAT and come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.